my name is um, uh, Onyeka Nubia. Um, sometimes I use the super great doctor because in the sort of field in which we're in, you use that. Um, but it's not actually my name. And most of the time I just go with the name of Onyeka. But some of these institutions like titles and what have you. Uh, so that's where that comes about. I am actually a qualified doctor, but there we go. Um, I'm a historian and a writer. Um, I see the writing and the history as being complementary to each other. Um, history is the research, and also part of being a historian is also the capacity to be able to write or relay the information. I also believe that um, historians teach or should teach, although some historians believe that they're primarily about research. So. Uh, a key feature of my historical um, aspect is the capacity to be able to teach. And the most important teaching that one can do is in the classroom uh, over a period of time, over years, and having students that you teach over a period of years. That's what makes you actually an historian, not just that you just say you are and you, you just speak. Um, and it's also about having a pedigree that's been passed down to you from somebody else who was also a teacher, who said that now you can teach. So you have a lineage. Um, that's also what makes you a teacher. Um, and so those things mean that, in a sense, there are lots of people out there who claim to be historians, but they don't research, they don't write, they don't teach, and they don't have students, and they haven't been doing it for a large amount of time. So there's a question mark over whether they really are historians um, or whether they're just researchers. Nothing wrong with just being a researcher or whether they're just speakers. Nothing wrong with being a speaker, but there is a question mark over whether they're historians. So <clears throat> my perspective on these things is, is that um, I think that history and the teaching of history and writing, which is the other thing I do, because I, I write ancillary to the teaching of history or the research of history. I write fiction, um, I write plays, etc., And that's another part of what I do, um, essentially to form a kind of equilibrium in my spiritual balance between the others, the other things that I do. Um, and that's a different art, a different skill, a different technique with a different reason, and more, it's probably a spiritual reason, um, and can be so. That's not to say that history doesn't have an, a spiritual aspect to it, but the actual, te the actual Writing is a more of an exegesis, it's a, it's a, it's a release, it's a catharsis. Um, so it's different in some senses from the uh, purely academic sort of historical teaching and research, etc. Um, both of them go hand in hand, um, uh, and both of them are an aspect of uh, my being um, in the sense that they've, they've always been there. Um, and I believe that they're also resident in other people um, especially people of African descent who are outside of Africa and those inside of Africa to a greater degree than has yet been realised or manifested in our people because our people, for the most part, has been focused and directed towards other pursuits for a sort of post-colonial slave syndrome, which um, has meant that we don't often have the potential to realise our capacity to be able to write and and, and develop, and those sort of latent characteristics, mm -hmm. which would be encouraged in those that have those desires, are not realized. Um, if you don't grow up in a home where there are books, um, where the academic um, interests are pursued, it can be difficult to manifest that if you have that as a potential. Oh my God.